So we're here at the ID TechX show here with FitPay, and who are you? We are designing a software platform to enable payments in wearable devices. So think Android Pay, Apple Pay, Samsung Pay. We're designing a platform so people can have functionality for payments in every other IoT device. So um, it, it makes it like easy for them to implement a system where you just go with your watch or something? Uh, or some kind of thing you have and then it just pays? Exactly, exactly. So it's the same experience as the other pays, but for any other device, do you want to have a watch, a yeah. strap, uh, so here jewelry? We have, we have fashion jewelry as well, people working on that, rings. So how is the payment disabled on this one? It's a disabled. Is that because the owner of the watch doesn't have it on or how does it work? Yes, so if in this case, we have a, a design called Pagari, which is a prototype. And if you take the watch off, it uh, uh, stops the device, and you have to enter a PIN to authenticate yourself on the device once you're wearing it. Oh, that's nice, cool. And so this is a whole bunch of demos about using smartwatches. Yes. And uh, what would a smartwatch company need to do to implement They need NFC? Yes, it's NFC and a secure element chipset they'd have to put in. They'd have to certify the device, but we provide all the back-end platform to connect to the card associations to tokenize your card, provision it, manage the life cycle of the card on the device, and a web view application they embed in their mobile application so a consumer can manage their wallet with all their cards and, de and devices. You enable that on a Pebble? Yes, yes. So you are the technology for Pebble? Well, it's a smart strap on the back of the Pebble that we call Pagari. Ah, you put the strap for Pebble and then you add yes. NFC to Pebble because yes. by themselves they don't have it, right? Right, right. right. Do you do the, the strap? Yes, so we have a smart strap as a prototype. Is it there? Uh, this is actually one that doesn't have it on, but okay. um, it's a smart strap that goes to the back of the Pebble watch. So it would be under it, there would yeah. be a, an area that does the NFC stuff. Yeah, so you can connect smart straps to the back, so it's communication and power. And we created one that goes on the back and then has the chipset against the back of the watch, and it has the NFC antenna and the connection to show persistent authentication so it knows when it's on or off. So you don't need to turn your hand around, you can no. just do it like this? Yeah, it's very easy. And, uh, but uh, is this is this using, let's say, maybe an arm, an arm trust zone? Is that the secure element? It's is it going to be, how is it implemented? Yes, it's using the, the global standard, the global platform. So same thing that it's used in Apple Pay, for example. Um, we use the SD Micros chipset, but basically secure element and sending commands and it, you know security key exchange, security domains, all of that is uh, on those chips. Do you already have lots of customers, or are you starting? Or? Yes, we're a startup. We've been in business about two years, so we have about 10 OEMs designing this into their products and should be launching next year. So next year is going to be a bunch of devices yes. enabled by FitPay. Exactly. But the consumer doesn't need to know? It's just uh, No, it's white label. The... Right. You'll OEM. see it in your device you buy, whether it's jewelry or something else, and it'll just work as payments. And it'll work for Visa, MasterCard, and everything? Yes, yes, exactly. All right.